eight years old, and I like video games and my friends. When I was about 18 weeks pregnant, we went in to find out what the gender of our baby would be, and we were so excited. And while we were doing the ultrasound, the nurse kept kind of making these funny faces and hmm, and doing these things that you know they hadn't done before, and so I was starting to get really nervous. And so she told us it was a boy, and we were super excited, and then she was like, hold on a minute, Will, um, I'll be right back. And then my doctor wasn't there, so she was like, oh, your doctor is on the phone, he wants to talk to you for a second. And that's when he told us that um, Rowan had gastroschisis, and of course that's a really big word that I'd never heard of before. Then Rowan was born and he wanted to defy all of the odds. He went immediately into surgery. It was super complicated. So this is a diagram that Rowan's surgeon drew during one of her surgeries. Um, his intestines were in 10 different pieces and so she was diagramming how long each section was and how much of it that he had lost. So we were in and out of the hospital for probably the first two years, just in and out, in and out trying to get those things working and he was, you know, fed by IVs and G-tubes and, you know, it's been a really long process. Around four in the morning was like, I need to go to the hospital. So we took him in and he had an obstruction and it was some, you know, we hadn't had a surgery for two years and so we were, weren't expecting anything. And so they had to do that surgery and we were in the hospital for 19 days. And while we were there, um, a child life specialist came into our, our room and she asked, you know, would you like us to apply for Make-A-Wish for you? And I thought, sure, if you want to, like we didn't think he'd qualify. But within a couple of days they told us that he had a wish granted. And that was a huge changer for him. You know, he was having a really hard time. He was in a lot of pain and he didn't want to walk. He just wanted to sit there and play video games. And once we told him that he had a wish, it kind of changed everything for him. He kind of got a lot happier and um, was a lot more motivated to walk because he's like, I've got to get out of here so I can go get a wish, you know. He was looking at all these different ideas and he watched a YouTube video of um, someone going on a Disney cruise and he saw the aqueduct and how it went around the whole ship and he said, that is what I want. I want to go on that slide. I went to a tropical island that had the own Disney people on it and we went to the beach and we got to go in the water and in the sand. I met Mickey and Minnie. I got to be the ship captain and I found a magic picture that I, there was a steering wheel in front of it and the ship moved in the picture. So I got to pretend I was on the ship and be driving the ship as a ship captain. They gave me, they did my hair and the ship captain's clothes. It was just great for him. He was excited every day when he'd get presents in his room. And all day long, he's just kind of like strutting his stuff, like just having such a great time. And you could just see the excitement. To never be in the hospital ever again <laughs> and play with all my friends. Make-A-Wish is a really great organization. They're super helpful, super friendly, and they, you know, they want the best for these Wish kids, and they will do anything to make them have an amazing experience. Yeah.